Good morning, Man of Church. Ben Goodman here. Welcome to part three of this week's series on returning to God. I am really excited about today's devotional. May it add to your overall experience with God during our 21 days of prayer and fasting. As I mentioned earlier, returning to God is a process which requires seeking God on His terms according to the paths He has set out for us. I believe there are five foundational, proven ways to respond to God's call to return to Him. Wherever you are in your relationship with Jesus, these are paths God has laid out for us to start walking on so that we can draw closer to Him. Here's the first path, fasting. Fasting involves denying ourselves, giving up certain things, at least for a season, to remove or minimize distractions so that we can focus on our pursuit of God. It's a way of realigning our soul. You could fast food, TV, social media, maybe even idols. Whatever you feel is occupying an overly influential place in your soul. Here's the second path, prayer. Carve out time to start your day with prayer. Talk to God throughout the day. You don't have to be eloquent, just open your mouth and talk to Him. Persist in asking and seeking and knocking concerning issues that really matter to you. It is not weakness to depend on God. It is the height of wisdom. Oh, and another thing, make sure you carve out time to listen for what God might be saying to you. Prayer is not a one-way street, it's communication with God. He wants to speak to you as well as hear from you. If you feel you can't hear from God, ask Him why. Ask Him to teach you how He speaks to you. Hearing one word from God can change your day. It can change your life. It can even change you. Here's the third path. Read your Bible. Just pick up a Bible plan and start reading it faithfully. Scripture has a transformative power all its own. God often speaks to us through Scripture. His words, His truth, His wisdom transforms and upgrades how we think, how we feel, and how we navigate life. The fourth path, confess and repent. When the Lord shows you that your actions, your attitudes, maybe your opinions or feelings conflict with God's will and God's ways, don't deny it, don't defend it, don't justify it, and certainly don't run away. Just decide to sincerely confess things, these things to God as sin, surrender to Him, and He promises He will not only forgive you, but He will start cleansing and transforming you. And here's the fifth path, obey. Whatever you know to be God's will, just put it into practice. You don't even have to get it perfectly right, just obey. Get the train out of the station. When He calls you to forgive, choose to forgive, even if it's through grit teeth. If you need to apologize, own what you did and apologize even if they started it. When He calls you to take a step of faith, Take the step, even if it's a baby step. Jesus said that those who love him obey his commands. And to those who obey his commands, he will make himself even more real to them. These are five proven paths to return to God. Just commit to taking steps along these paths. You really don't know what you are missing if you don't start the journey. God promises to reward those who earnestly seek Him. Great promise, don't you think? Experiencing this promise is way worth the process of returning to God. But engaging this process is often easier said than done. Returning to God is not without obstacles and challenges. We'll examine some of these in part four of our series on return. See you tomorrow.